Hey everyone, Worm Empire back at ya. I wanted to do an update on my sock bin. This bin has a pair of socks in it uh, that I started maybe two weeks ago. I don't expect to see much of a change. It's a brand new bin and I put a very tiny amount of worms in here. If you look in the last video in my Worm Empire playlist, it is this much worms maybe. Just fit in my hand here. So it takes a long time to get a bin like this going and to actually see anything happen. But what I have been doing is, there's the socks, look pretty much the same, smell just about the same as when I put them in. Starting to see some mold and things like that begin to creep in. So that's a good start. And, um, and then there would be a little kicker of worms started in here. Yeah, I see some in there. I'm not going to move the camera this time, just keep this simple. But um, the subject of this video is basically about overfeeding small amounts of worms at the beginning of a bin, especially with if you haven't sterilized your bedding. Um, typically you want the same amount of food per week as the, as the weight of your worms. When I have a new bin like this and a very small amount of worms, I'll feed them probably three times their weight of food, maybe a little bit more. Uh, it creates a hot spot. The heat of the hot spot can dissipate around the outside of the bedding. Um, I think this does a few things. The worms' bodies actually pick up this more advanced decomposition process and they just spread it around, which is what you want from your bedding. There's better ways of doing it, but I'm a busy guy, so that's what I like to do. I start a party in the middle. The ones who can stick around and ha handle that, do that. And when they need a break, they can kind of dissipate. And, um, and then it inoculates all the bedding all at the same time. Uh, I like this process because it's very hands-off and you can also just grow the amount of worms that will actually live in here. I, there might be, I might've started with a hundred in here and there will end up with the square area. I'd say there's about a foot and a half square feet here of area. You can get a thousand worms per square foot roughly. So there could be upwards if this is done to maximum capacity, 1500 worms. You can do that just being completely hands-off and by slightly overfeeding them at the beginning. As this bin progresses and as I see more worms, I actually lower that ratio. So I will go then to two to one of a feeding. And then once I see that the inoculation has happened all over, then I start to actually do a more one-to-one -one feeding. So uh, one-to-one -one feeding is a good rule of thumb. I wouldn't suggest anybody stray too far away from that. But uh, at the beginning, uh, especially with a small amount of worms and as long as the food isn't is, is localized in your bin um, I don't think there's a problem with that uh, I think it kind of helps get the population started but as they um, yeah as as the bin fills up there's I find there's less of less of a reason to do so a uh, couple things to note uh, I used to overfeed with uh, bins that have lids. I wouldn't do that anymore, um, or at least leave the lid off while you're doing that, pro that, that, that process of it. But the way I've been doing this is, I just put a piece of plastic over it. You can see all the bedding stuck to it. So it gets wet from the heat that the decomposing food creates. But I also try and tuck it, uh, tuck the plastic in from the corners so that the bin can breathe a little bit. So you have a gradient of temperatures and exposures, light exposures, temperature exposures. So if they go in to this overfed area, they can also leave and take a break from that and just live in the bedding or things of that nature. So that's kind of my quick and dirty um, bin starter kit. But um, if you have the time, um, it's incredible just how hands off these things can be and this is sort of a series of videos I'm making where it's just the hands off approach and then you could come back months later and you've got many 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 times more worms than you actually started with 
And to me, that's awesome. Um, what ends up happening is you actually have to find enough food for these, for these things. So um, that's a good problem to have in my books. And I think for a lot of uh, worm farmer books, but uh, yeah, that's sort of my, my little update here. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Like and subscribe if you like this video, if you like the content, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.